do my lang son bonani i would say it in afrikaans but i don't want to swear to you as yet so i'll end it off with the hello welcome to another if i i i'm skeptical of saying exciting i never know how it's gonna end so welcome to another episode of closure with me miss k aka carabo thank you so much for joining us if you are not a subscriber of ours make sure that you subscribe you like you follow you do everything that you need to do on all of our social media platforms family because we are one big family and we plan to continue growing the family before i get ahead of myself i got myself an a couple today hey i'm skeptical of putting these you know describing words before because we never know what's gonna happen i've got myself a couple today and they want well the one wants closure from the other i'm not sure what the situation is i'm not sure what is happening why it happened but we are going to find out as per usual we're going to take a break so that i can get my guests and we can hear the juice on what is happening today so make sure you go get yourself some water some popcorn some wine whatever it is that tickles your fancy while i go get my guests remember they are in two separate rooms so the one is not even aware of what they are doing here who brought them here what is happening but they are about to find out but let's find out from the one person that brought the other one here and let us get the story on what's happening make sure that you go get yourself whatever it is that you need to get and you'll find me back here in a few And we are back. I'm sure you've got everything that you need right next to you because I don't want you to move. I mean, how could you miss anything of anything that we are about to show you? Remember to like, subscribe and go on all of our channels and all of our platforms and every single thing that you can think of, you will definitely find us there as CMTV SA. So we've got our guest in studio and she's about to tell us why she brought her ex here. Welcome, Nelly. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thanks, thanks to you, girl. I'm doing good. Welcome to Closure. Yes. Tell me what's up, girl. How can we be of assistance to you? Um, so I was dating this guy, mm -hmm. and for a couple of years we met in varsity, mm -hmm. and then um, she slept with my twin sister, mm -hmm. oh, and then she what? She, he did, he did. And then the funny part is that me and my twin sister are identical. Like there's no way that he could have. So do you know? Blame him? I do though, I do, I do, because we might look the same, but we're not the same person. It's not like um, he couldn't know whether it was me or it was her. But what's the one thing that stands out with you that maybe your sister doesn't have, or vice versa? Like we've got two different personalities, you know. I know that we are identical, but if you spend um, a lot of time with the other one, you can tell them apart when they're together that this is not the one. Yes. Do you so guys have the, okay, okay. Do you have the same body structure? Everything, we like completely identical. Completely identical. Yes. So, so what, what do you, you want to say to your ex? What, what is it that you need to talk about? What's happening? What's so happening? in the past few months, I've been getting like calls and messages from this person that I, I do not know. And then like when time went on, I was like, let me just go through all these texts and see like, if maybe I can be try and I like I can try and identify who the person is, and then because obviously he was my boyfriend and we were texting each other before, I could tell by the way he was texting, testing yeah. like this is the one, like this is the very same person that's been stalking me. So like I don't have stalking you now. He is. Did, did you, you break, break up, up with him after you found out? I did, I did, and then now I've got a new partner, and then this is causing like a lot of problems because it seems as if I'm cheating on him or something. You know, so now, like, my relationship is your. So, why don't you answer his calls and just tell him to leave you alone? He never, he never speaks because he knows that I know his voice. Yeah. He just breathes. You can, like, hear, like, he's breathing deeply and deeply. I'm like, why don't you say something? Yeah. Then I block the number, then he calls me with another number. Oh. He does it, like, all the time, all the time. So it's, it's causing a lot of problems because now my current boyfriend is thinking that maybe I'm cheating on him or, or something. So it's just one big mess. Like, 
even if I were to go maybe open a case in a police station or something, they can't be able to help me because I'm not even sure that, like, there's no proof that it's him. So it's it's just one big mess, like, yo. Know. And how's, how's your relationship with your sister? sister? We're not on speaking terms. How long has it been? Um, like two years or so. So we're not on two speaking years. terms. And it's quite difficult because whenever maybe there's a family gathering or whatnot, now people have to pick sides yeah. because we can't just chill together and have that, you know, family bond and stuff. So it's like things are really, really bad. So how do you know it's him? What if it's someone else? There's no way. Like, I'm the type of person that I don't have enemies, I don't have lots of friends, so I don't think there's someone who, who could do that to me. Like. I don't think so. And and the text, the way he texts, it's you the know, same way. Yeah, like, you know. yeah. So I just, and like, I'm sure, like, I can feel it that it's, it's, it's him. What does he say in the text? He threatens me, but, like, I'm watching you. You must watch your back. Why you know, I'm going to get you. the one that cheated? Like, I fail to understand. Maybe, maybe, like... I think maybe he's bitter because um, things didn't work out between the two of them. Oh. Maybe that's the problem, and I've did moved they on. Did they establish your relationship? They did. <gasps> they did. So it never worked. So I guess maybe he's better that I moved on and I'm happy with whoever I'm with currently. So I don't know what's the story. Maybe he wants me back, or or he just wants to ruin things for me. I don't understand. Yo. Hi. This is a lot. Are you it's, ready it's to a, see him? It's a lot. I, like I'm ready. Like I, I need answers. I just, yo. You're, you're tired. tired. I'm exhausted. Because, because he called the 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 admin guys. You are having to constantly change numbers and breathing voices. Like today you breathe high, low, bass, alto, high. Come on. So much admin guys. Like oh, but Tom, even I need a break, guys. We're gonna take a break and then we're gonna invite them on to hear what. He has to say because that is good tricky. Wow. Okay. Let's all just take a break and breathe. You guys, Nelly, was the water I'm okay? Fine. Did it calm you down yeah. a little? I'm a Are you calm. ready to see him? I'm ready. Please don't jump at him. I'm not gonna jump. No, no violence in studio. I'm please, not gonna jump. Please, we cannot GBV. It's a thing, <laughs> okay? So, we would like to invite Stebo. Oh, welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bokang. No, yeah, Bokang. It's Bokang. Yes. Bokang. I'm, I'm so sorry. Where's the Bokang? Yeah, better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you know the lady sitting next to you? Yes, ma'am. I um, definitely know this beautiful lady sitting next to me. What is she to you? Or he, who is she to you? Or who was she to you? She is and still was the world of my life. You know, I don't know. Just the life I... The only life I knew, the, the, the kid brought the best out of me, you know what I mean? Like, I really did have feelings. The best, the best out of you. No, the seriously. best, like the chasing best. Like. No, uh, okay. maybe it's not even like that. Um, you just brought out the best in me, you know, like okay. I actually, she felt, she made me feel like a, a, I'm proper again, you know, like I didn't even have to go around mm. worrying about other girls, especially at the time when I was with her. So tell, tell us, Bokan. What happened? All right, so um, firstly, I'd just like to clarify the whole thing of the, the stalking part, right? So um, yes, we broke up, but what, what had happened is that um, we were, remember the night when we were res, mm -hmm. right? And then you were to you yourselves, right? Um, and everyone else, and you know how the vibe was, remember? Mm -hmm. So um, I won't lie to you, I do admit to actually being wrong. Girl. What did you do? Um, not proud of this, but like um, I remember actually um, getting along with her 
twin sister. You what? I got along with the twin sister, like sexual okay. intercourse type things, but like it. So, so sexual, sexual intercourse, intercourse is getting, getting along. along. Oh no, not not in that way. Like you know what I mean. But like what we did, what happened is that we did actually um, so have an affair. We did have an affair, ma'am. Um, an affair? Not an affair, man. Like you just put the sugar, not like in so I'm many not sure words. I'm not sure you these words. Listen, it's not it's not in those words because to put it directly. But like it was that thing that we just had a, a fling, if that's what it is, for the night. Oh, so you hooked up for the night? Yes, but like. No, not intentionally, of course. You so know. what happened? Like, I honestly thought it was her because, like, honestly, like, yes, 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 yes. I, I, I remember drinking so much that night to a point where I was like about to pass out. But then when I, when when I saw your twin sister, I assumed it was her, and because everybody was late in the room, you know. So I just assumed it was. So you. is there is there no difference? Maybe she no. has a mark, a birth mark. No, nah, no, have she does. Oh, oh, I don't know. Mm-mm. I could actually tell from her, cause like I know when I speak to her and everything like that. But like as I also do say that that day there was a lot of liquor involved. You know what I mean? So, so you gonna blame it, blame it oh, on the liquor? No, 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 Nelly. It's not even like that. Like I just honestly like made a genuine mistake. So like, even when you were speaking to the sister, you could see a little bit of a difference. Why didn't you stop? Um, damn, man. Nelly, um, listen, man. So so kala gaman, so so kala It's not man. funny. It's not okay, funny. Okay, no, okay. I'm it's sorry. Like legit, legit. I get it. I get it. Um, these emotions and all involved here. But uh, sister, um, go back. Get back to your um question, Karabo. Basically, um, I could. I I, I just said, you know, there's temptations in life. Uh, as a guy, I genuinely made a mistake because I thought, um. It was nearly that night when I went into bed. I really thought it was nearly. Not that I cannot distinguish between her and her sister, of course, but there was some sort of temptation too that did come to it, I guess, via the intoxication of the alcohol. So in your defense, I also asked her if they are identical, it could be a little difficult to tell. Yes. And, and with liquor, but I'm, I'm not saying you are, you, it, it's, it's a reason to do that, but whew, it's a lot. Nelly, why did you bring Hokani here? What is it that you want to say or ask or what is it that you, yeah. So Hokang, I brought you here on the show because I want to really find out if it's you who's stalking me. And if it's you, um, I want you to stop. And I just wanna, you know, I just wanna get clarity on how could you do that to me, like, like with my own sister, because like everything is collapsing. You, you understand? Because she and I don't have a good relationship, you know, and it's even tearing the whole family apart. And currently, I'm with someone, and um, he makes me very happy. But then, if you are the one who's stalking me. Now it's becoming a problem because now we are constantly fighting and whatnot, and it's not funny. Like it's it's not nice, you know. So I'm just so exhausted, you know. I just want everything to go away. Like I just want to understand, like what is going on in your mind? Like what do you want? Yo. Yeah, so before Bokan answers, we are gonna take a break just so we can breathe because you can see, guys, the tensions are high up in the studio. Yo. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. lot. When, when we, we come, come back, back from, from the break, break we're going to get Bokan's answer. Is he the stalker? Mm. Welcome back. You are still chilling with me, Miss K, aka Karabo, on Closure. And we are about to find out if Bogam has been stalking Nelly. So, Bogam, are you the stalker? Um, Karabo, like, not to sugarcoat anything like that. I wouldn't put it as stalking. I mean, I feel like that just, that's a title on its own. What was actually happening is me literally trying to get attention from her which she 
I couldn't get no longer, of course, after everything had happened. It was that moment where I like, you know, she's ghosting me and all, you know. So it was just me basically trying to get a hold on to her in terms of like, let's try and talk this through. This, like, can we just try and get over this if anything is, you know, if it's possible, hopefully, you know. So, so why did you keep changing numbers when you saw that she kept blocking you? And why were you breathing? <laughs> if you're trying to reach out to someone, why are you breathing? Oh, I mean, that's that's not like. What was I breathing, nearly? Really, like. But you never spoke every any anything. I could literally hear that there's someone on the line breathing, like. Maybe there was something else, like, but like there was just some random call. But you that never said anything. Mistake. You yes, never said anything. But the time I did try to reach out to you, you know, you would not give me your attention back. Tell me, I'm lying. You're not lying, but then, what did you expect? Of course, but like the reason I was honestly really trying to reach out to you was the fact that I'm trying to, you know, build uh, this broken bridge that we have right now in our relationship. Like, oh, I, listen, like I'm, there's no going back. Like, I, like, like right now, like a sabuyele mover. There's no going back. And then manjo uyang moshela, and then mong moshela. Like okay, yeah. Uh, okay, if if you were me and I was you, both 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 for now to Understand, understand. The situation is really um um not a pretty one. But the thing is, um, I was also wanting to try and get some sort of closure from my side also because I really would like. I don't know. I'm not happy about the fact that you and your sister are no longer getting together. So okay, so this is your opportunity, okay. Why, Why is it that, that you wanted, wanted to, to say to her every time you were calling her? Every time. Nearly. Um, what I really wanted to do, say was like, I am really sorry, dude. I know what I did is like close to unforgivable or in, and all that. But like, the truth is, I was actually trying to get a hold of this. I used, I thought this is the perfect platform whereby me and you could actually talk and I could express myself and tell you, I am really sorry about what I did. I, I just pray and hope that everything else becomes better with you, with the relationship between you and your sister. That was not my intention to ruin such what your, 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 your relationship, you know what I mean? So if anything, I would just like to say I'm sorry. If, and if you felt like I was stalking you, um, that was not the case. I re I'm sorry for that too, you know. But like if anything, I, I would just, I thought we could just be cool with each other. We don't have to be. See, be cool. Not ghosting each other, no, not cool. Though that's maybe that's the wrong word, but like at least we don't have to ghost <laughs> each other. Cool. No, listen, at least we don't have to be ghosting so each, each other. So we civil each other. That's what I'm actually yeah. saying. Like, you know? like, honestly speaking, I don't owe you anything. If I feel good thing, for good shang it's fine. Hey, like, I, I don't owe you anything. Like, I don't do owe you anything, anything any, anything. Because, manje, the way when we're in corner, you're just ruin, ruining my relationship. No, no, no. But, but do, do you, you accept, accept his apology, apology nearly or not? Like I said, I don't owe you anything. So that you do not accept the apology. I don't even owe oh good see um I must give you a reply or a response or something when and you up you apologized on your side and then let's just leave it like that. I guess when you wanted to apologize and you did finish. Well, guys, anything else you wanna say? Remember, Remember, this, this is, is your opportunity, opportunity to speak your oh. heart out. Man, nearly like, honestly, I just, I just wish things was, was not the way it is right now, basically. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really, really genuinely sorry for creating all this drama among even between the family and everything else. I'm sorry for bringing so much burden and emotional hurt to you. Do you still love Nelly? I actually do still love Nelly. Like Nelly is like always been the lady. Like it was since never the day. Real. Oh. It was never real. So that's what you would say. You, 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 know, you, like, you like, never had any good times. No special moments. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But then you can't confuse me with another person. It's your, your identical, identical twin. twin. Yeah, but then even the scent, you can actually feel that You can, like, understand, I really do understand that it's so true, you have a point. I'm not going to blame it on intoxication mm. or anything, but the truth is that that night, everybody was um, intoxicated in the room, so... Mm. I think leave everybody out of it. Was, was the sister intoxicated? If that's what I'm saying, it was a vibe. Everybody was having a vibe, okay. you, you know what I mean? So if so I had a vibe with a friend, and then I came back and said, I'm sorry, man. It would have been cool, like, I just <sighs> be cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. 
No, obviously it's not it's not it's not, it's not the right thing, obviously, to be um, messing with someone's emotions like that and especially with someone that's even gonna be close to the circle. Well, no, we, we, no, of course it would make me feel um, some type of way too. Of course I would not be happy about it, you know what I mean? But I was just asking if you could find it in your heart to just maybe one day we don't I mean we I do love you. We don't we don't have to be way back take it back to where we were, you know what I mean? But the least we could do is just at least try and just hopefully overcome the situation by trying to talk to each other about it more often or just being so when you say you want to, to talk to you more often about it what do you what do you want to talk about specifically because i feel like the situation is so much now that even the family is involved and the the whole family is arguing which was not my intention of course um i would just like to know to find out hey nelly how are you man um um how's the how's the, how's the sister how's your how's your auntie i don't know like how would you used to do what like when we were in a relationship you know those random calls we talk, it doesn't mean, you know, we have to be in a relationship. Because I understand you said you have a new person in your life. I really, I really understand and respect that, you know. But it doesn't mean um, everything has to be so better that even when we're passing each other in the street, do you know what I mean? That it's like, yo, nah, this guy, you know what I mean? At least, hey, hi, Nelly, hey, hi, BK, how are you? You know what I mean? And that's it. I was just hopefully if you can find it in your heart. So do 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 you also speak to her? Like, have um, you? Did you apologize? Like, did you? D I to like be, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, um, I I didn't really do so much contact with us after this whole scenario had happened, because I was actually more focused on trying to get your attention to try and get your apology and you know what I mean. So I was. That's why maybe you might call it stalking, but. My attention was honestly legitimately fa uh, for you. At that moment, it was just based and directed at you. You understand? I didn't really do much talking with her after the incident or anything because I felt like I had to talk to you first. You Nelly, do you think you can be civil with him? Where when you see each other on the street, you can't just say hi and just walk on? I don't know. Maybe in the next life? Maybe? I don't know. Not this one. Not this one. Uh, not this one. What do you? I know you may not accept that, but do you understand that? I uh, I guess if this is her opinion and this is how she really feels, I have no choice but to accept. Do you respect and that? respect? Of course, of course, of course. Um, I've just back down. No, but like, please don't use the title stalking because I was honestly just trying to reach out to the person I love. And the only the thing is that you are not a stalker, yes. but just a like, caller that calls a lot. No, no, caller that calls a lot, trying to get back, you know, the, the person that they feel with here yeah, meant something to their life. So you're a frequent caller, not a stalker. Thank you. Okay. He's a frequent caller, maybe not a stalker. I don't know the difference between a stalker and a frequent caller. There is, right? Okay. There is. It's just maybe if 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 he could explain the difference, maybe I, it it might make sense to me. Uh, but then it's not making any sense. So will you stop calling now? I will stop calling to respect you. Mm. You know, since those are your wishes, of course. But mm. I still would like you to know that if any given day in this world, I would still like to have a, another chance with you. You still, you still want her back. Because I still do have feelings for her, and that's the reason why I kept calling her so much and trying to get her attention after she was ghosting me. Okay, so but I'm, I'm sure you can, can see where she's at. Nah, I understand. I, I really feel I understand. I can see she's... But then I've, I've got a question for you, Ne. How was it like, like you and her? Was it like when you were with me? Was it different? Was it better? Was it worse? Was it like Begunjani? <sighs> Ah, oh, Nelly. It was. It's obviously it's not the same. Yeah, begu njan, begu west, begu pesa. We got freaky over, like. It, you and I always got to do things that you know, you know, other crazy wild things. Like I don't think she's as wild as you. To be honest with you, I feel like you're the one for me. That's it. So when I, when you were with her and. Um, the way we describe our corner, maybe she was reserved. Azang was born right there, and then it's like, eh, eh. There's something, there's something.
this is not the one. Oof. Oh, you're really in too deep. No, no pun intended. <laughs> But like yeah, um, let me just say um, it just happened. It was like something that happened at night, man. I, like I, I really was not myself that night. I, I was not myself. Did you? Did you not Personally. come? You didn't. Excuse? Did you, you did come. Oh no no. <laughs> did you not? <laughs> um, yeah, but it's like obviously you know. Ah, we came with really different camera. 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 There's different <laughs> stalking, <laughs> different camera. Everything is just Hey, you are just, um, <laughs> you are a different thing. So, so any last words, anything that, so Bokam, you first, last word, short, say what you need to say. Get, get your closure. closure. And she will get hers. And that's a wrap from us. Nelly? Honestly speaking, I would just really, most importantly, to say I am sorry about everything. I am really, really sorry from the bottom of my heart. And if anything, um, I do respect the fact that you said you have moved on. I do respect that part. And if you really would like for me not to call you or maybe let's say not even be friends from now on, I really understand and I'm going to respect all that. Okay. Nelly, no words. <sighs> Your closure. I regret the day I met you. And if it does happen that you call me or I get a text from you or anything, like, I don't know, I'll have to do, I don't know, maybe open a case for cyber stalking or something, I don't know. But I will do that. Like, I will go to that extent. Like, I'm phoning for Nele, I'm phoning text, even on social media, don't even like my pictures. Like, like, damn. Yo, okay, this is tense and on that note from me, Miss K, Love and Light. Mwah.